is everybody? Good, good, good. You know, this morning has really been an absolute gift. I raised two little Lutheran children, and it's a lot. I'll tell you, if Wednesday morning chapel was like this, I think I'd have two preacher kids by now. <laughs> have you been to a Lutheran service? Praise God. And that's about it. <laughs> we are of the opinion that the Last Supper was a covered dish. So at least in the Lutheran culture, the food is good. Um, I have had the pleasure of working with this extraordinary young woman named Diana Durango, who is a very accomplished actress. And the movie that we have done is called Something Left to Give. Um, I did radio and television here all of my life, since the age of 17 on. So it's been two or three years. Uh, and uh, a friend came to me and said, I have a project for you that I really would like you to entertain. It involved, now, this will have a happy ending, I promise you, but I'm going to get solemn in a, for just a moment. Five years ago, five years ago, my sister put a gun to her head and pulled the trigger. And none of us can really know the hopelessness or helplessness of someone who feels that way. But you know what the hopelessness and helplessness comes from? It stems from loneliness. And there is almost nothing worse in this world than loneliness. With God, we're never alone. My relationship, Brian, with God is also very, very personal. And when God brought this friend to me, Rick Danford, with a screenplay that very much mirrored my own life, that dealt with depression from which I suffer, and anxiety from which I suffer. I take medicine for all those things, and, but most the thing that was the most uh, impactful was that the film deals with suicide. And it's in the film circuit right now, so we can't show you the movie. Diane and I are going to do a play-by-play -play reenactment of the entire 28 minutes. I've just made that up. <laughs> but I would like to introduce to you the woman who plays my daughter. I am... Uh, in the film, my character is the mom of this gorgeous creature with whom I had the, have had the honor of working with. She's got real creds, ladies and gentlemen. This woman you're gonna, is going to be a big star, and you're going to say, she was at our church that morning, and there were like 30 people there, and now everybody's hounding her for her autograph. She's sitting right next to <laughs> She's sitting right next to me right now. So ladies and gentlemen, please, a nice warm welcome. Uh, for Diana Durango. Thank you. Hi. Um, Rick called Nancy and I, and I think when we both came to the consensus, consensus is that when we read it, it made us cry. And I really think that in that moment, that was the Holy Spirit. I'm like, and we were, and I didn't think, you know, like you just, God sends you messages when you least expect it. You know, you're like, I just needed to hear that today. I didn't know what I was coming into today, by the way. And there are all these messages coming in, and there was that talk about the wilderness, right? And Nancy and I have gone through that wilderness. <laughs> um, I always wanted to help people in my life. And I went to law school, and God said, you're not ready because your intention and where you are right now, you're not ready for that. And I was like, I don't want to do this. I was in New Orleans. And I was like, I just want to act. And I was like, God, I just want to act. I want to help people. And I'm telling you, I, he gave me the courage to say no to this for right now. Two days later, I was on a set with Forrest Whitaker and Opal Winfrey for The Butler. What's that? What's that? 
and it was the weirdest thing right. and it just you know how you say you have to say yes you just keep on saying yes and it just kept on coming and I'm like why are you but you have to feel worthy and I didn't feel worthy still there's I didn't love myself and he's like hello I'm here like just keep on I kept on doing it and then I started changing myself and I had an eating disorder and I started changing my hair and I started changing my body and I was like I just want to be a good actress and he's like girlfriend heck no that's not going to happen until you love yourself you're not helping people at all you're not doing anything and I went into a hiatus and I prayed and there are times when I think you and I both felt like this like we just felt that loneliness but that's because we didn't let God into our life right and then this script came out and it wasn't about me it wasn't about how I looked I decided I was gonna take some time off and I used to, I was praying and I was like I need to be okay with who I am and we went into that movie with the prayer remember that and that was our prayer and it wasn't about us it wasn't about the light on us it was about helping other people and letting other people know that you're not alone because I don't know about you I've lost you as well like we've lost a lot of people to suicide and there have probably been days when you just look at yourself and you're like, I can't take this anymore. So, that being said, I tell Nancy to this day that I feel like her sister was there with us. And having that grace and being able to look at your life and saying, I offer it up to you, and that's all you have to do every single day, and just love people, it's, it's not about us. It's not about it's about other people and I think that that's what makes this movie so special and out of all the movies that I've worked with and I've worked with Ben Stiller and Benicio Del Toro and all these wonderful people out of everything that I've ever worked with this has gone somewhere like this it'll be at the International Christian Film Festival we would love to have all of you there there's some wonderful things as well she and she's amazing no Nancy shh, shh. and Nancy, but Nancy was able to, I, I'm just honored to work with you, and that you just brought something in that it was so real and so raw, and I want to thank you for that, and you brought love, and just thank you for having us here as well. Thank you. Brian, you were right. I think we're all going to leave here different than when, when we came, and I and I want to thank the princess for inviting us. This has been, I am enriched for having met all of you today. And I have physical proof right here that God brought me to my knees this morning. <laughs> Can I get an amen? Okay. God bless us all. <laughs>